guys hello my beautiful people how are you all doing today anyways i'm very much okay you know on my last video i stated that i wasn't feeling too fine but here we go i am well and fit and on today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful flared gown you can see right there on the screen it's a sort of ready to wear so and it's quite easy to make all right so if you are here for the very first time my name is chin wen do uh should in case you are seeing my face for the very first time you are welcome if you are a returning subscriber you are also welcome as well on this channel we create content around um, fashion you'll be seeing fashion illustration style analysis on this channel so if you are decided that want to upgrade your skills based on all this i listed you are on the right track so make sure to click on the subscribe button before you go away and don't forget to turn off your notification bell so as to get notified whenever i post new video here on this channel i upload new videos every week and you don't want to miss out so guys let's dive right into this wrap um this beautiful gown we need um our scuba fabric you can see the beautiful dress was made with a scuba fabric and right here the client said she wants it in black okay so to start off you'll be needing your basic bodies block which you can see right there if you don't know how to draft your basic bodies i will be linking that on my description box because i have a detailed um, tutorial on how to draft your basic bodies block so guys you go take a look before you come back to this video so right here on top of my table i've already draft this out okay we don't have that time to start um, drafting this from beginning to the end you can see this is the neck from the from the picture you can see right there um you can see that this is coming with a band um three inches band and this part of the um my pattern is the band okay this is the neckline i have my sleeve and this is the front block okay i'll be using this front block to get my back block okay which i will do while cutting on fabric okay so now i'll cut off my pattern and i'll be transferring to fabric so guys let's get started right now i'll be cutting off my my band okay this is the band i'll be cutting this off so this is what i'll use to cut off my band now i'll be transferring to fabric to transfer to fabric i'll make sure i have the because scuba can be a little bit confusing i'll make sure to check the wrong and the good side okay now this is the good side and here is the wrong side so i'll place this on my fabric and i'll first cut out my back and to cut off my back, I'll be imputing my zipper allowance. So you want to use your pin to hold this a little. And I guess my pattern, if I cut it like this, I'll be wasting a lot of fabric. So I'll be adjusting this a little bit. Okay, now I have what I want. I'll be making use of one inch for my zipper allowance so make sure to pin everything down so as not to shift your pattern from your fabric when cutting 
I remember that this um, dress you can see there is not coming with any that so there is nothing like that here and beside the material is stretchy so I don't think there is any need for that okay but if you are cutting on on a material that is not um, stretchy you can in include your darts now i'll be making use of one inch zipper allowance and this is what i'm marking out so after these i'll be using my straight ruler to connect my lines i hope you can see this because this is a black fabric so this is one inch for my zipper the next thing i'll be doing is to cut out my neckline and here i'll be using for the back remember for the front neckline what i use there is three inches depth and then um 3.5 inches in width <laughs> So here I'll be using one inch for the back neck depth and um, 3.5 inches for the neck width. So I'll be connecting this like this and then I'll cut this out. Okay. Remember when I was cutting out the armhole, I made a mistake. Um, I tried cutting out the front armhole first, which I later found out and um, and then followed the back armhole. So this is what I'm trying to cut out. So this is for the back and I'll come here and notch my zipper. Okay. So this is for the back. Now I'll remove my pins and I'll be cutting out the front. So don't forget to label this. This is the wrong side and this other side is the wrong side of this. Okay, and that is it. So now I'll also use my pin and secure this. But I don't want my paper to be moving around while I'm cutting. So this is it now i'll go over and cut out my flare okay for the down part i'll be cutting out my flare which i'll be joining to the upper bodies we're about cutting out the flare for this dress okay to so know the amount of fabric you are going to be using although i have a detailed um, tutorial on how to cut your flare on my channel so i will be linking um the 
detail of that video on my description box so you go have a look in case you don't know how to cut out your flare different types of flare i have the 180 the 270 360 any type of flare you want you will get on my channel so guys i'll further to know the amount of fabric you are going to be using for this flare dress okay her half length um, is 19 inches and the length of this gown is 43 inches okay so with that said i am going to be cutting out a flare of um, 24 inches how did i arrive to this okay so her waist measurement is 41 round waist measurement that is a waist circumference is um, 41 inches plus i'll be adding um 1.5 inches for seam allowance so i'll be getting 42.5 inches and i will go further and divide it by 3.14 okay which is um, what we use in getting our half flare all right so if you want to find out all these we have a detailed tutorial on how to cut your 180 degree flare okay it's right there which is what i'm going to be cutting this minute okay so 42.5 divided by 3.14 i'll be getting 13.5 now the length of the gown is 43 inches so and her half length is 19 inches 43 minus 19 we have 24 inches that means i'll be cutting out a flare of um, 24 inches okay so now to know the amount of fabric i'm going to be folding that is what is here because i've already folded this okay what i have here now is 37.5 inches in width and then uh, um, 37.5 inches um crosswise okay i don't know if you understand what i mean this is the depth and this is the length or you can call these um crosswise and then um, length wise so 24 plus 13.5 which i got initially from dividing her waist measurement by 3.14 what i have here is um 37.5 which is what i'll be folding before i cut out my flea so right here i have 37.5 on this side and 37.5 on this other side now i will start cutting out my flare i don't want this video to be very long so i will cut this off camera all right so guys i will cut this and i will show you what i arrived at so i will start cutting right here i will place my tape at the tip okay at this folded edge i'll place my tape and i will start marking out so i will do this um, at once so as not to waste our time so here i have 13.75 and right here i have um, 37.5 okay So from here again, I'll mark out my 13.5 and right here, I'll mark out my 37.5, okay? And again, here, I'll input my 13.5 again and this is what I will do until I get over to the other end. So I'm done marking out my lines and I'll start cutting. So 
Now you can see they have circles. By the time I open this up, you see they have circles. Okay? So, I will go over to my sewing machine before I draft out my sleeve. Let's just join the body and that of the down part. Then we come over and draft our sleeve and we are done with this tutorial. Now I'll finish um, stitching both the bodies and the flare together. I've also added the band as you can see. This is the final look. The the only thing remaining here is for us to join our sleeve, which I will be cutting right now. I've also added my zip. I used an invisible zip. Okay, and this is the finishing, guys. This is very neat, and um, I believe if you do yours. We are going to get this finishing. I also use the bias tape to turn the neck. You can also make use of a facing if you want. But for me, I use the bias tape to finish the neckline. Alright. So now I will go over and get my material for us to for me to show you how to cut out this yoke office sleeve okay so guys to cut out my sleeve i folded um, the fabric into four because we are going to be making use of um we are going to be cutting out two sleeves so what you have to do is to fold into four so i folded into four the next thing i'll do is to draw out my starting line So this is the starting line. The length of this sleeve will be getting to my elbow, which is around this part, okay? So I'll be making use of 13 inches for that. And then, because it's a office sleeve, you know there will be elastic band right there so by the time you draw this up you pull it up it will be able to adjust up to 13 inches so because of this i'll be adding five inches extra so 13 plus five um five we have 18 inches so this will be what i'll be making use of and again i'll mark out my line also for me to connect this line horizontally and after this the next thing i'll be um marking out is my cap height i have a basic sleeve um, tutorial i will link that um, um the link of the video on my description box okay so but for now to get your cap height her boss circumference is 45 inches so for 5 divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 is 4.25 okay so i'll be adding up one inch because it's a puffy sleeve um so that we'll be having 5.25 so this is my 5.25 and then on this um cap height i will insert my armhole measurements which is um 11 inches okay remember we have also shaped out our armhole on the dress i mean the gown and if you want to shape out your armhole please if i if i um armhole measurement is um 11 inches please reduce by one inch because you know this is a scuba and from there i will connect to the starting line okay so here we go so this is how it's going to look like at the down here i'll be inserting my that's my elbow measurement which is six okay 
and um, six times two i have 12 inches so i'll be making use of 12 inches okay let me make use of 14 i'll be making use of 14 inches plus one inch seam allowance remember i will have my elastic running through this down part okay so after i'm done cutting i will go over to my um saja machine the weaving machine and i'll weave the hem after weaving it i will stitch and i will insert my elastic band of course i will show you the outcome after i must have finished the sleeve so now i will check what i have here her armhole measurement her round armhole what i'll be using is 10 inches so this is um, 10 inches so this is where the 10 inches is stopping meaning that my uh, my gather my gathering will start from here to this point okay so now i will add one inch seam allowance and then i will connect these two together And then, of course, I'll cut out my sleeve. So, this is my sleeve. What I will do right now is to go over to my Saja machine, like I told you before, and I'll weave this part. After I finish weaving this, and I will go over and hem this, and inside here from here i will insert my elastic so i'm done with this i will come and show you guys the final outcome you guys i'm done um hemming the um down parts i've also weaved it okay so i will go ahead and use my steam iron and give this a good press I also held the seam allowance from the armhole before I hem this because I don't want to get myself confused okay you can actually do it without holding the ease allowance but this is how I do mine okay to make it very easy for me because by the time after i finish um, putting in the elastic from that um seam allowance i will just hold this down th through to the end okay i guess you understand what i mean after i finish inserting my elastic through this way I will just hold this using a I'll use one inch to stitch this all the way to the armhole and I will insert my elastic using this okay guys try this and uh, instead of using a safety pin this is the best I've forgotten the name but once I remember the name I will link it on my comment section all right so this is very very easy you want to try this this is how it is done i'll just look at it i'll pull this down and then i will hold this and then secure it using this can you see no matter what you do this won't come out okay because it has a sharp teeth here that held the elastic firmly so i'll go ahead and uh, use this to insert my elastic okay don't forget not to allow this to enter inside once i get to this point i will go over to my 
sewing machine and i'll stitch it down and i will continue inserting it so guys i will go over to my sewing machine and stitch this down i will continue whatever i have to do on the sleeve and after that remember to also notch your shoulder okay that shoulder part remember to notch it because this is where i will make my gathering from i also notch that point from year to year i have four inches from there and after that i will go over and um, join this on my sleeve and i'll come show you the final look of my dress you guys at this very junction we are done with this tutorial and i'm delighted that you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoy every bit of this tutorial please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to turn up your notification bell if you haven't done so please follow me on instagram and on facebook at eco designs to fit until my next video don't forget to